Dr. Mike, this is Brakeman Andrew. We're ready to assemble 376. The train's here and the crew clear. Over. And Eno, myself, we're going to switch them with you. Copy that. Ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Train 716, conductor Mike, you are clear to proceed to Prairie Valley Siding. Over. You always have to ring the bell before you make a move. Okay, here we go. Hey, wait a minute. I run a steam engine. <laughs> you know, yeah. and it, it, I know it's apples and oranges, but it's something specific that a lot of people just don't know how to do. Yeah. Most people don't know how to do it. In fact, Brad will tell you that uh, even some uh, present day diesel locomotive engineers would have trouble operating a steam engine. I can tell you right now because I'm trained diesel. Yeah. As an engineer, and uh, it's totally foreign to me. You need to be a mechanic moving this machine mm -hmm. safely. Whereas with the uh, the diesel, in fact, I'm thinking back four or five times, it was basically calling, you know, the CAA or BCAA to just, okay, what do I do? And after about three minutes, we'll call somebody and get it fixed. It was all about movement, nothing about mechanics. Whereas Brad showed me, there's a million things you have to know about and you have to be able to fix them. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of liken that running a diesel as running an automatic in a vehicle as yep. to a standard, which is I feel is the 3716. Yeah. When when it's work time, it's all professional and you know there's no messing about. I'm ready for my consult, Mr. Dinero. <laughs> is now 17 so there's a huge cross-section and we've um, we formed a really really great bond lots of laughs. That's Andrew, that's our youngest lad. Hi. Up. And 
and uh, they have great tests. When the train's connected, the, uh, there's a compressor in this engine run by steam. It provides 120 pounds of pressure, and it provides the air pressure for the entire train's air brakes. So when we left the other end, the airline disconnected. So we come back around here and connect again, we have to reconnect the airline, and the airline and the train has to be pumped back up again before we're ready to move. And that's what you're hearing right now, that, that's the compressor, bringing the pressure up while it pumps into the train. And that's just a way of dropping it to test it. So right now, the water level in the boiler is right there. All the way down the whole length of the boiler, covering all the tubes. Not gonna do it, Jerry. Normally I would kill the fire just before he stops, but I'll leave it burning for a minute so you can see. Gives you a sense of how big the firebox is, how big the fire can be. The firebox is all in here. Uh, this part has goes all the way to the back here. It's a movie. <laughs> I said it was like giving birth. <laughs> Should be looking good now. Oh. Out to the end, I'm going to plug it in. Now, Eric, I understand there's a joke floating around here. Yeah, well, okay. There's uh, <laughs> Jerry. He's uh, he's the, one of the firemen on, on the 3716. He's also training to become an engineer. He's almost there, actually. But uh, one of his favorite sayings is when, when people are asking about the age of the engine and where it was built and all that, and he'll say, oh, it was built in Montreal Locomotive Works in 1912, and that fellow there... He points to me. He said, "He comes with. He came with the engine." Said, That's <laughs> there are people that will say that Eric came with the engine in 1912 when it was originally delivered. <laughs> well, let's just say that when we leave here, I'll let him have it. When I first got here, I was a nice, polite fellow. They trained me to behave like this. <laughs> Up, uh, we sprinkle our way down uh, this side and on the on the fireman's side. We open these valves, and then um, Sandino will travel behind us in the high rail truck. We leave it like that all the way down the hill. One that's that's working here is um, they love their job. You mm -hmm. know, I, I don't, I can't honestly say there's a, a, anyone that doesn't love their job here. The people are ultimately friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you today? How's it going? We're running about 28,000 to date so far. And our banner year, I believe, was 33,000. And we still have uh, September, well, the rest of this month, September, part of October, the Halloween train, the Christmas train. So I think we're going to surpass that.
of like moms with new babies. We love showing off this train. Forget your claim to fame and get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Wait, when's the next um, uh, robbery? This Sunday, two of them. This Sunday? Yeah, there's still space available. Book now, avoid disappointment. Garnet Valley Gang. Yes. Have, we have sold out trains all the time. The riders come out, they're shooting their pistols, their rifles, and then they get on the train and they rob the people for their loose change. <laughs> it all goes to charity, and uh, yeah, it's it, and they love it. That's a secret. Hello. She's a good girl gone bad. Got a hole in it? No. Yep. Just the rubber thing. Give him this gun. He took it. He ended up he couldn't be sheriff. Do what you just did. Okay? Not every time it'll cough. See? It didn't do it. But watch this. I think something got broke. You know was not worth it. Well, in my books, this hat is worth everything to me. I must have caught my My father brought it back from Texas. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Um, At least get her hooked and her feet. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're, they're getting to my feet. Or no, it was, I guess. Yeah, I traded it away. It's not mine anymore. Yeah. I have yours. <laughs> oh, you're... Oh, crap. I know oh, it seems wow. like he's gonna. He's gotta be coming pretty soon. Right? Yeah. I can hear it actually. I can hear it, yeah. Yeah, so you guys can go back there as far as you want. If you don't want to go back where you are, go He goes up close to the train here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Just take him. Well, to be well, like, Sweet. Got to go up that way? Yeah. I wonder if that's a better way to come in. Which way? I don't know. When you guys hear uh, Maverick and Bo shooting. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll take a 50 though. Come on. Come on, hand it over. Smell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the real thing. Oh, I see you guys already loaded. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> I have to jiggle the powder. I'm a real bandit. He does. He's the colors of his knees. He's his knees and his legs. They got a lot of $5 dollars on time. This is the bag. Somebody is surrounded. Gun fighting the croquet corral. Oh, they're going away with the loot. I guess it fell off. Of course she's got the gun. <laughs>
little punk tried to put the dish out of my bag. <laughs> oh, oh.